Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we're back with Grandpa Onion from the United States, and we're going to be hopping into the most popular settings in all of online Risk, Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. Now, Grandpa Onion was a staple for a few weeks for Sunday Snipes about a year ago. People did enjoy the name and Grandpa Onion coming in and slapping some people around. So I thought we'd bring him back. Name's probably a little bit unfamiliar to most people nowadays, so they shouldn't recognize me. We're going to be playing Europe Advanced Progressive Capital Standard Risk Meta Settings. Fog and Blizzards are on. No alliances, no portals. I'm the red player. I'm in the fourth position. We have five opponents. Neat little blizzard here. I could cap, depending, white goes before me, so I can't cap London. I could think about a Mercia cap and then chase purple out, but somebody's probably going to go in Iceland. That's a nice cap for black here. I could cap in Spain on my two. That's a very easy turn one Spain. Probably not much to worry about. Guaranteeing me Spain, but easy card block in the late game. Can I snowball? Ooh. So uh, Africa down here is a honeypot, and black has this cap blocking it off, but white capped in the back corner of it. So black's going to be furious at that. I could cap Central Russia and play for Russia. Is that Central Russia? That is Moscow. So I guess that's not Central Russia, but uh, that's not bad with the Finland Blizzard. I, so I, I, we go Noob Corner or we go Spain? I've had a lot of success with Spain lately. I've been enjoying it. But maybe we try a Noob Corner bonus just for funsies. No, Spain's guaranteed. Somebody might be Captain Iceland, right? If somebody caps in Iceland or even Oslo, I'm kind of hurting with a Mercia cap. I can only come out this way. I think guaranteeing Spain is the right play. Purple cannot go Gascony. If he does, I would be happy because I'm rolling that turn one. And then I can hold Spain and two caps from a one point here. That'd be much better for me than my current position. See what happens. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, I'm. You may be recognizing on the main channel, there's been a little bit more Europe advanced lately than some of the other settings. And sure, I'm sure a lot of you are like, yeah, I would watch Europe advanced every single day. Because some of you are sickos like that. And I, But I do like to play some variety. I like to mix it up. I like to, I want to experience more than just, this isn't the only part of risk, right? There's a lot more to risk than this. But I'm, uh, currently recording before a vacation. I'm going on vacation in April for about 10 days. And it is, it's it's, it's easier for me to play a bunch of Europe Advanced games than it is to try to find like Europe Advanced and then mix in like a bunch of different creative settings and bring you the best games I can of those. So you'll get a little bit more Europe Advanced for a little bit. I'm sure nobody's really gonna complain about that. And uh, yeah, nice little mix up. There are uh, plenty of Risk channels that only do Europe Advance because it is the most popular, right? It's what you guys want to see more than anything else. So, yeah, Black's going to take Italy now. I'm going to take Spain immediately. So, current scenario for this bottom section is somebody in Greece, and they're going to knock this out, and then maybe go, like, Greece, Istanbul, and, like, Georgia, three-point on uh, Orient and this part of Africa. If you guys are unfamiliar, by the way, with Europe Advanced Capitals, which most of you are, are familiar, here's the bonuses. Obviously, the noob corner up here, the plus two, plus... Wait, hold on one second. Uh, blue is going for Russia. Okay. So there's a plus two, plus three noob corner, Scandinavia. You can get, like, a little bit of a London hold, plus Denmark as a two point on these three bonuses. Spain's often got a blizzard down here trapping it, so Gascony is normally a really good capital. Gascony's right here. Uh, sometimes you can even get a one point hold on, like, a couple bonuses down here. Uh, all from Gascony, depending how the blizzards lay out, right? Uh, this Daenerys helps in the middle here, plus four bonus. Often, if you get a blizzard in the middle here, someone just caps and it gets this bonus for free right from the first turn. It's a very strong position. <laughs> here, just gonna come through the back like this. Probably not have any contesting from purple. Yep. Do something like this. Probably I'm safe with the, I'll, I'll go seven and two. Thought about leaving a three. It doesn't really matter because like purple's not gonna break me, almost certainly. But uh I don't know what white did on turn one. Oh, he's going down here, yeah. So white's not gonna break me either. Purple's actually okay, pink took this. Pink may have his capital here. But black's cap was here, so. 
Purple gets nine, probably takes London out. If he doesn't take London out and he's doing something else, I'd be very happy. Is there nothing happening in Noob Corner? Like maybe I actually hold this and use my extra troops to go for Noob Corner. Let's think about it. Purple's rolling a bunch. That's multiple rolls. Right? So that's multiple rolls. That could mean Scandinavia. Could mean Africa down here. Blue is rolling in Russia. Black has Italy and blue. I doubt. No, purple's not in here. White's doing this, right? So purple either did Scandinavia there or this part of Africa is my guess. He did multiple rolls. Maybe he did one roll to take Iceland and then one roll somewhere else, but he did multiple rolls. So he wasn't in here because he would probably fortify some out or something. Very odd. See what happens. It gets my turn. Black says good luck. He starts with six. So white actually completes this bonus, I'm guessing. I, I was kind of distracted. And then black... Oh. Okay, so nobody's actually capped in here. Black's rolling the crap out of people. Who's he fighting? Who went into him? White? It must have been white. He said good luck and rolled. Yeah. But it was pink that took this. Was it not? Blue's getting 13. Where's... Blue... Wait. Blue didn't get... Blue got rush on turn one? I didn't actually see that. I saw him roll me with a four on one. I didn't realize he had everything else. Well played blue. So blue's got Russia. Black and white and pink are all here. So it's really only purple I don't know. Which if purple's here, I do have noob corner for free. I think I go hunting for noob corner. I think I'm going to go looking and see. Uh, with people starting with like 13 troops a turn. And then white's going to get a ton and maybe come off this three. I maybe want to knock white out of France instead of go for noob corner. Let's try this. Wish me luck. There's pink's capital and there's a purple eight. I'll just leave a two there. And try not to threaten anybody. I may, I may taste it. I may taste it, but we found people, right? Purple's probably... Oh, I'm going to taste it immediately. Purple's probably Denmark or Stockholm with a cat. And, uh... So Pinka breaks me immediately. With, uh, nine left over. So he's got a nine cap, and he's just sitting in here in Iceland. Okay. Pink's roll in the middle of the map confused me a little bit, right? It tripped me up. Uh, but he was ultimately Iceland. Yeah. Not shocking at all that somebody would actually just cap in Iceland and take this. So if I did cap in Mercia, only purple would have seen it and pink would have still capped here. So actually I would capped in Spain. Maybe pink would have capped in Spain if I went Mercia. There's a small chance he would have capped on the two in Barcelona then. Or a two in Madrid. He had a one in Barcelona, two in Madrid. Maybe he would have went for Spain if I went Mercia. But if not, he would have capped behind me and that would have ruined everything. So if he's not going to let me hold British Empire, my next play is to take France. Which, like, I, I, so I did this roll, and I left a stack here. I left a two. It's not a big deal if this gets broken. I want pink and purple to fight over this. I'll come into France next. Black has 15 troops. So he successfully holds Italy and an Eric Alps. Is my guess. Maybe he holds this in here, and Italy got broken by white. I'm not sure. He didn't attack too much. Blue's still getting 13. He's going to work on Orient now. Blue's, Blue's goal is I'm going to take the whole east and then you guys will have to deal with it. What did purple start with, actually? I need to pay attention. Eight. So purple does have the plus three in North Africa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry. He's got Scandi. Doi. Yeah. It was one of them. He's got Scandi. So our opponents, by the way, we've got Samuel Monk from India. We have Lacombos from Austria, I believe. I always... This flag I'm getting... Uh, keep forgetting what it is. I should look it up and then... Uh, Make myself remember. Marjorie Beauchamp. I guess they're French from Canada. Probably from Quebecois. We got Tressa Lang, United Kingdom. The English. The opposite of the French is the English. General Oak, United Kingdom as well. Okay. Yeah, he's going to start. Blue's got a two point on, uh, a three point on Russia, right? Russian Empire plus seven. Yeah. So he can hold it from Kharkiv, Rostov, and Georgia. He can also hold it from Erzurum. Donetsk and Kharkiv, it's still a three-point. He's still holding his three-point. So, uh, it is what it is. I'm going to come out this way and see if I can take this bonus.
Yep, something like this. These twos and threes, I have a 10 cat. We got a dude card. Okay, no trade, but Pink's gonna take this now and hopefully he will leave me alone. I know Pink's a bad neighbor though, so. Okay, he takes a card and passes. Pink is playing take a card and pass, hide in this corner strategy. Interesting. So I can actually stack on Mercy and maybe card block him if he's knocked out of everywhere else. Got so much saliva, I'm thinking about steak and juicy butt rapage. Okay, we've got purple probably took Central Europe. So he's got Scandi and, does he hold? Yeah, 14, he's got, okay. He's guarding. So purple has Scandi and Central Europe. Black has this middle section. Blue has Russia. Orient's about to get knocked out and then down here. Pink might, and white has uh, Africa over here, right? We may very shortly have pink trapped in noob corner all alone. With no cards. He's getting seven a turn. If I put a 10 on Mercy, he's got no trade, no card. He has to go into purple. Unless he has a trade on three. Purple just rolled the crap out of black. I love that. Because black's cap is Venice. And you know he's going to ram Dingo backwards and break purple now. And I might actually get to hold. White trades immediately on three and starts ram dingling. It only starts with six. So black actually broke white down here. Black's getting five a turn. Okay, so Black being in the middle, he made enemies. Purple and white. And he goes right in. I, that might even be like a full send suicide almost. Goes back to camp. That was a six left over, right? That was a seven here and it rolled this. So he's got a six on his capital. Should I go for Black's capital or should I chill? Because here's the position. If I get his capital, I'm the one that's at war with white. But I could take white's honeypot, right? Like, I can beat white with my bonuses. I come in and take his cap. Maybe go all the way through and break white and then come back. White's cap is down here. White's cap is Sahara Desert, right? So if I do break him in Jajel, he doesn't have access with his cap stack. And then after one or two turns... White, white already traded, too. After one or two turns, I just take white out. He bots, I kill him. Right, and, and maybe I lose my stuff up here. Like, I'll probably lose France, maybe Spain, but I keep this cap, and then I'll have this cap, and I'll probably win this honeypot of whites. Then I'll go into the end game. VN is a very strong cap in the end game. Very tempting to go looking for this. It's a six cap. What is a, what is a six cap? What's a six cap's defense against, uh, sorry. Trying to open the notepad file. A six capital, uh, 17, an 18 stack is 100%. 17 is 99, 16 is 96. So I would have a 96% roll. Pretty good. Now black's gonna trade, but he probably can't do much about that. But white has his bonus, so white could also be a problem for me. I have no trade on for it also. White has his bonus, but maybe he comes up and doesn't hit it. Because white's going to get, what, plus 6 on top of his... Uh, let's say he gets, white gets 12 because of his territories. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. He probably has uh, 12 troops he's going to get, right? So he can come up with, like, a... I don't know. He comes, like, whatever stack he has guarding his bonus, and then he puts 12 on it and comes up looking. The 7 cap is not the greatest. So losing 9 on the 6 was not ideal, but obviously it could have been worse. Yeah, so if black is up here somewhere, he might trade and go into purple. If he's not, he might only be here, and he actually might die to white right now. Actually, if white kills the black 1 and trades, I lose this 7, I think. I think... Oh, no. Wait, if that's all Black has, if he has no trade, that'd be funny. He does. Does he have more than this? He could make a 10v7. If I, Blue's not going to break me, so I'm going to hold this. Oh, he's here. Okay. I might get broken then. No, I don't. Blue gets 18. So that is Russia, his cap. 
It's not Orient yet. He might have North Africa, though. Or he might just have the territories, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. He would need a lot more territories and not quite Orient, I guess. He's trading early. White started with 12, took one attack and chilled. I kind of want to full send break white right now. Well, he has no cards. Black has no cards. Purple's got a trade potentially, but I don't think he's going to hit my cat. Purple and I have been cool. Pink also got a card somewhere that wasn't in here. How much do I get? I could come off this seven. I do need to break white, but I also need to guard this because purple's going to get a bunch of troops and I don't know if he's going to be trustworthy or not. 17. So I can make a 24, 23, 22, 21. If he's got like a 15 guarding, I can't break it. I literally can't break it. I should... White's already traded, right? So I can wait maybe a little bit. I'll come down one territory. Trades are what? I, I think my 10 cap's fine. I really need to hold this capital. Got a plus two in Madrid now. Is it Madrid or Madrid? Please don't break me. Okay, he was the worst neighbor, but now he's taking this and backing off and leaving a one. Maybe I can trust that. 14 for purple. White may be card blocked after this upcoming turn. He gets a third card if he if he's hit if he's sitting here and he takes this and this two gets knocked out. I think he's card blocked. Someone might think about hitting this two on the next turn, depending on what the situation looks like. Woo! It's just tricky. I, I think I, I've got a really good. So I got early good early game bonuses, and now I've got a really strong late game capital if I can hold it. Even if I lose Spain and stuff, this capital is the key to the end of the game. And opens black again, if black has a stack here. None of these two uh, traded early, but everybody else has. But they're all up in front of me anyways. Wait, gets 12 again. Yeah, he's going to make... Uh, yeah, he's going to take cards up here. Oh, no, there he is. 29. He leaves it there? Hmm... So next time, next turn he makes a 41, and if he has a trade, uh, 10, 12, 15, 20, he can make a 61 here next turn if, pink, if white has a trade. This could be a 61. It's a giant threat on me. I mean, I can make this pretty huge if I get 15 troops again, right? 15 plus a 10 trade. What's that? 38, 48. So 61 on 48 is not enough to get through. And uh, so black, did black bot? Can I kill black? He starts with three. He's not in here. Can I kill black? I wanted to take a third card. I needed to take a third card if I'm going to kill it. Oh man, blue's going to get it maybe. 26 for blue means he's got Orient now. Uh, 7, 13, 16, plus a cap, plus these territories, 10 for 30 territories. Yeah, that's probably him. Does this white 4 die? That's the important thing. He's coming at the bottom. He's going to kill black. If he doesn't, black's like basically dead, right? One, two, two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. So like eight for territories. Eight for territories. Sixteen. That's twenty-four. He got twenty-six. Wait, black's in here. Is he not? I can't go for the black kill right now. <laughs> oh man, if white rolls me too for like a suicide slam, blue's gonna clean up. 
This is a problem. It's like 49 is really good. Where's black? I had a feeling. I had a feeling that blue cleaned this out. I got black's two cards, which is amazing for me. Big play there, making that an eight. I didn't know, like if black added and it just happened, like I cannot believe, blue didn't see that kill. So blue's not that scary later game, right? Blue should have known that was black's kill. Purple should have also potentially known that Black's kill was there. So I'm the only one that spotted the kill, which means I'm pretty threatening. Pink is probably only here has to break Purple or me. I was expecting to lose this at this point, though. Really need to hold this cap. If White has no trade on three, I need to go for a White kill on this upcoming turn. That would be incredible. If White has no trade on three, takes a fourth card... Even if he doesn't, I trade, kill, white, trade, right? He doesn't have a lot on his cap. It might even be empty the way the stack is here. I don't think it's empty. He's got 12 the last three turns in a row. Like, this is... Like, that's 36 troops, right? Did Pink bot? He traded. He started his turn. He traded. It's going to auto-deploy them all? Huh. Purple gets 13. He trades for 20. Oh, white trade would be 25 then. Did I miscalculate? How did we get that extra trade in? How do we get to one extra trade so far? Because I took black's two cards, but uh, I haven't traded with them. So 41, he could make a 66. 66 on 46 is like next to nothing. Like almost no chance. Like a 66 on 40 is only 34%. Uh, oh, he knocked him out. So he doesn't get another card. I wanted him to get another. He's forcing him to, to do that. He could have hit a one. He did that on purpose. <sighs> Please don't have a trade. They always do. Please don't have a trade. The one time? Because if I could trade, kill, white, trade, and hold from this cap, I would probably abandon this. Well, my fortify would actually probably be whatever's left down here, realistically. But because I would need everything here, but the problem would be blue is about to get like a bajillion troops, and have a tra he'll, he'll have four cards if he doesn't trade. If white bots, it's fine because he'll pull off cap if he does. Because white has no cards, right? White is trapped behind me now, which is what I wanted. I wanted him to get one more card here, though. Sorry, Samuel Monk. Please don't have a trade. Yeah. This is a rage quit, right? Please don't trade. Oh! Why? So now I have to hold off this bot that gets 12 a turn and has no cards. Oh, that's frustrating. It's a rage quit, like, so rage quitting is when they, like, just close the app on their phone or they alt F4 on the game, right? The game will spend a full 60 seconds looking for them before the bot will take over. So if blue is mostly just looking at this 18 in my cap, I might be okay. Like, blue might end up going into purple. Oh, I mean, if white didn't bot, he might have tried to roll that. I don't know. I know the white bot will pull out here at some point, but there's nothing. Like, I can't really give it cards and farm it because I have to keep this cap incredibly strong. Pink will break France at some point, too. But maybe blue goes into purple. Oh. We hold strong in this capital. Imagine white had no trade and it didn't trade for 25 troops. I would just be able to kill it right now. 
and then have the honeypot, the game would be very, very, I wouldn't even say easy because blue still owns half the board. Okay, he did break purple. Yeah, okay, so blue's just bullying and he's gonna bully right into purple. I have no trade on three, right? Pink does come out. I wonder, so blue has tons of troops and only like, he's got a bunch of weird stacks all over the place that I've seen, like eights, twenties, fifteens, eighteens, whatever. So what's actually on his camps? I don't know. But he is getting a ton of troops, so he could have stuff on his camps. I'm very hopeful purple has a trade here. Because his cap wasn't Berlin, it was like it was like Stockholm or Denmark or something, right? So his cap's not open, so without a trade, I don't think he gets through this 24. He has to take a card and chill. And pink came back and now is a butt. Okay, so the five does break me now. I shouldn't get all the way down and break Spain. So I at least should get Spain. Hard mode, right? If white doesn't trade, we have an easier game, but it's still a tough game because of blue's position. But why not make it a little harder by... Uh... Wait, does pink fortify off? Oh, that was a fortify. It did fortify. Probably like this. It probably took his full cap and put it here, which is now looking at purple, and that's not purple's cap. That's just a small defense deck. So this upcoming turn, pink's going to be slamming into purple. Probably going to pop this and take this bonus back and go to the 95. Purple's in a tough spot. Purple might bot too. I might be in a 1v1 with blue. And I can win that by chaining kills. If purple and pink both bot, I have to chain their kills. I need to do it while blue's not... So I will get open most likely. Oh, fuck. He is going to quit. Wow! Risk global domination. It turns into people quitting, man. It really does. People can't handle a, a bit of uh, problems to deal with, right? They just quit. Like, black quit. White quit. Pink quit. Purple quit. That's four quitters this game. He doesn't take a card, but hasn't have a trade. So I get broken here by purple anyways, right? So there's no point in even trying to take the bonus. I do actually really want it to uh, open me. We'll see what pink's or white's full stack is because the cap's going to come here now. Okay, it had a stack and it's moving some to the guys. 42 a turn for blue. If he invests a bunch in a way that doesn't kill purple but opens me to pur purple, purple's still on cap. No, he's, he's stacked capitals, I think. I think he stacked his capitals because he's just got these in the front. So he's playing defense right now. Okay, I can wait for purple and pink to open me, potentially, and come out with my 95. It's tempting to hit the blue 15 for the sole reason of me holding this bonus, forcing purple to break me, which opens me to killing purple, <clears throat> which is big. There's no cap here, I don't think, right? There might be. Oh man, that's so tempting. Because purple and pink and purple are going to destroy each other here. I need to trade on four. That might be enough to double kill the next turn. How do I set up to double kill? I might have to hit this 15. If I do, I might as well break blue though, right? Okay, purple breaks this and opens my 80. 10 for pink, it has both bonuses here and it's cap, but it's stacked here, it's gonna go into purple. Which is gonna open purple's cap. Oh, fuck, it had a trade on three. <clears throat> so I'm in a 1v1 with three bots. One bot is stacking against me with no cards, can't get advantage from that. Okay, let's watch its attacks, one. 
It did roll. It did roll this. It's in on purple. Purple's cap is going to come back. Purple will be killable. I need this 17 to open me. If my 80 gets open, we can kill purple at least for four cards. Can I trade? I have a trade. I could trade, kill purple, trade, punch blue so hard he doesn't even know what hit him. It, 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 purple lost its cap. Dude, please open me with a 17. Do I have enough troops to kill purple? After, like, if it lost its cap to pink, it didn't fortify off of cap. Oh, please. You want to break bonuses. Okay. Woo! Now, the hope is that blue doesn't kill purple. White stacks here, 78, blah, blah, don't care. Funny enough, this might be all of white. Maybe not. I think it got 12 and traded and didn't put everything here. It split kind of. So the white bot's doing some weird stuff where it has a stack in here and it keeps moving one troop to the cap or something. The bots do forward fights like that sometimes. It's either empty or it's doing that weird forward fight. 26 for blue. Maybe he can kill purple. Question is, is it a Denmark cap? And then pink sitting on Denmark with a stack. So if I do go for this, I have to hit through a pink cap stack to get the purple kill? I don't know. Do I save pink for another turn so I can get two cards off him? If bl Did blue quit because I hit him? No. Okay. Jesus. Blue took so long. I was like, if he quit because I hit him, I'm absolutely flabbergasted. Yeah, he's coming looking. He wants to break my bonuses. This is fine. This is amazing for me. Yes. Thank you. There you go. Yes, thanks. I don't think Blue knows how to beat me. What a ridiculous game. <laughs> you you got to play it as it lands, man. People botting out cause some, uh, cause some problems, and you've got to deal with it, right? Oh. Pink's probably got that, but I'm just going to be certain. And I also want the 40 to go this way. Take it. That's a trade. <laughs> I had no trade. Interesting. Okay, it's dude time. Yeah, we're going to let pink do stuff. Oh, slider. Slider drama. Under move 10. Interesting. Wait, where's the caps? There's two caps in this corner? Oh my god, what? There's two caps in here. The 66 could get. Blue has literally two caps. The two caps are in this corner. Because Svastopol was mine. There is a Rusky Ala Petrozovsk caps. How stupid is that? Black's cap was not was here. White. Me. Pink. Purple capped here. And blue capped here. How did purple have... Am I miscounting? One, two, three. One, two, three. Purple's not in here? Or purple's in here? No, white's down here. I have one, two. There's one here. One here. Okay, maybe it's only one cap in here and purple's cap was here. Sorry. That would have tripped me right. No, because blue had... Yeah, yeah. So there's one cap up in this corner and then purple's cap's back here somewhere, right? It's got to be. Trip myself out. So pink is worth two cards. I'm not open to him right now, though. My 93 is closed because I closed this part, which was stupid, I think. But blue might come through and open me. 
Although, pinks, I kind of want pink to get a third card. 60 troops. They way over 60 troops, right? They're not worth killing right now. Blue has a 110. Does he have a trade on three? I have a big enough cap here to be fine. I also broke all his garbage, so he gets seven a turn. So taste it, baby boy. Um, is he a baby boy and he quits the game too? Because five quitters in one game, it is what it is, right? I load in. I host a Europe Advanced Capitals game. I'm not even in a great spot in the early game. People have much better positions than I do, and somehow they managed to uh, rage quit. Oh my god, he did baby out. Captain Baby Pants, number five. You know that Mambo number five? We need to rewrite that song, but we need to use Samuel Monk's name, La Combos, Marjorie. Marjorie might already be. Marjorie and Tressa are definitely in the Mambo number five mix. General Oak. And it's about how they're baby back bitches and they can't stay into a game of risk and play it out till the end, man. None of these people learned anything because of quitting. You want to get better at the game of risk? You want to stick the game out and improve. None of these people did that. Bunch of wimpy babies. Okay. Pink's gonna break this. Gets 21. I mean, I thought about break. Oh my god, no trade on four. That's funny. So, like, realistically, if I'm trying to play God here, I would want to kill white first, kill pink second, and kill blue last, because it's the order they bought it in. But I'll just be honest with you guys, I don't care. None of these guys deserve a better rank for botting later. You bought it. You quit. You don't deserve any rank points. You deserve to lose. I think this 22 can get through and do the double caps, and uh, I don't know if blue's going to do something. I can almost cap run. If this 110 rolls out enough, I can cap run, right? Horrendous. Horrendous game. Europe Advanced Progressive Capital is the most interesting, the most craziest of games. Look at these honeypots, look at these blizzards, look at these players that can't handle a little bit of fire under their keister. It's okay, we got a lot more games like this coming, a lot more where they're not botting out, uh, as you've seen in the most recent weeks. It, it is actually rare that everybody kind of just babies out, right? We do get a lot of really interesting, really crazy games, and it uh, just happens today is uh, the bought out baby time, <laughs> bought out baby time, but uh, does 38 come off enough? If the 11 rolls, I can get around for free. No. So there's still an 11 back here. Unless it fortifies. Oh, this is empty though. It's a little sneaky. The 11 come out? Does some other weird fortifying. Okay, cool. Uh, I am open to pink though. I mean, there's no reason not to kill pink, I guess. How many troops does Pink actually have? 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90? Something like that. That's crazy, man. I mean, we get it, but holy moly. Uh, it's not enough for a cap run. Because I got to go through the 102 of uh, white. But, uh... It'd be funny if I could kill blue right now, but no. I'm going to have to let white out, actually. We're just going to cap run, right? I don't care about the world doms or whatever. 
I don't think white's going to stay strong on this cap. I think I can trade and just get through, right? And I don't think I lose any other caps, so I think I just need to go through this one and snipe white's cap back here. Split. 26 comes up or 85? 85 goes out. Interesting. So the 26 cap stays? Maybe? No, 26 is going to go more than 13. Yeah, yeah. So empty cap. I just whoop de slap right through. Uh, and we don't care who gets second because they both don't deserve anything. Yeah. Free. Good game. Blue comes back. He's here. He's cap running. Oh, no. Trade on four into the cap run for blue. That's why I took no chances, right? I ended here with a cap. I made this a cap. Put five here. I took no chances of blue just magically appearing after that five minutes and then running it. Even in a scenario where everybody bots, I do take that just tiny bit extra precaution where I wasn't going to win until this coming turn anyways, so might as well make sure I don't lose. Like, I, I could have been safe leaving these all empty, but there's no reason to do that. I don't even need to trade. We're ending this with a dude card, and we're putting a plus two in Scotland because... Uh, William Wallace. All right. Disgusting game. Despicable. I am ashamed of all of you. Grandpa Onion. He's not mad. He's disappointed. They all ran from Grandpa Onion. Forgot the name we were rocking. No wonder they all quit. Baby back beginner bullshit. Yep. Well, sometimes Europe Advance goes that way, and we're still going to show it to you. But uh, I'm going to do my best to get, obviously, the best games possible and bring them to you like I do all the time. If you didn't get your satisfaction today, check out. There's more risk popping up above my head. I have two playlists, one, uh, two major playlists. One of them is the best games I've ever played of all time. Most epic games of all time, I think. And the other playlist I have that's really good is most, uh, most insane comebacks or greatest comebacks of all time. So my greatest comebacks and my most insane games of all time playlists. Go check those out if you want something and you didn't get the satisfaction from ram dingling some robots right now. Go look at those. And uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.